I was back, and mine was gonna summarize the, the, uh, what does everyone think when they think of each other? Caesar. You know what? I can't cover Caesar. It's just too great, and also too difficult. So we're gonna do the, P the Punic Wars. It's so basically the Punic Wars, or the Carthaginian Wars, if you're that person. Um, uh, was a set of three wars between the Roman Republic and... The Carthaginian Empire, Carthaginian is Punic, I guess. No idea. Uh, and it basically resulted in Carthage being destroyed. Sorry, spoiler alert for something that happened 2,000 years ago. 2,500 years ago. Fun. Um, so basically, this happened because uh, um, uh, 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 so basically, Rome was like, hey, Sicily looks pretty cool, don't mind me feeling this. And then Carthage was like, yeah, Sicily looks pretty cool. And then they fought over it. Um, that's basically what happened. So, like, uh, Carthage was, like, attacking Messana, and then Romans repelled them. Um... And then the Romans besieged and captured a Carthaginian base, uh, 262. In 260, Romans built their first large fleet of battleships, because you know, you know, you know what Rome, Rome's known for, their navy sucking. Um, I mean, I, I knew that because I know lots of random facts. Did you know Voltaire was addicted to coffee? Did you know that Plato wasn't Plato's real name, it was his wrestling name? Did you know that Democritus had figured out atomic, had basically figured out atomic theory, and that Aristotle, the stupid and I hate him so much, destroyed that? I'll stop. I'll stop. But only because I'm nice. Um, and then basically, in 256, the, the fleet, the fleets t s sailed out. Fleet. Fleet, foo light, fleet, foo light, the fleet. I can't pronounce words. Sailed. Then they repelled the Carthaginian fleet. Um, and then two fifty five under Xanthus, who was someone. Uh. Uh. Blah, blah, boring stuff. You know what? Look this up on your own time. I don't know why I'm doing this. Peanut cores are so complicated. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, 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 basically. Rome won. Spoiler alert. Something that happened like 2,200 years ago. I don't know what it is. I should, I should stop saying random numbers. I know it's at least 2,000. Um... And then there was like a little interval between the first and second Punic Wars, uh, that was 241 to, uh, also, when I say something, um, I'm gonna mean, uh, BC, not CE, so just, uh, just, uh, take that in mind. So, um... Why is my, 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 my notes not loading? Do I have to get my actual notes? Because my actual notes suck. Also, I didn't take notes because I was, because I was sick. In history. Okay. Okay, let's see. They're loading. Oh, okay. So it was 241 to 218 BC, which was, uh, years. Do, do the math on your own. I, I, I don't know how to do math, Mike. Um. Don't ask about that battle strolling accent. Uh, it's just something we do here, mate. It's just something we do here. No offense to any Australians if they are watching this. Which, I mean, y'all are too cool for me. Uh, basically, um, the loss of, like, uh, having, like, 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 uh, naval supremacy, for lack of a better word, uh, left Carthage, um, s sad. Uh, um, that's, that's what happened. And let's talk about Hannibal, not Hannibal from Science of the Blood. Hannibal Barca, who was the elephant guy. That's what he's known for. Um, 
he was the one who had the elephants marching over the Alps. The Alps are not very elephant friendly, so just like a little bit of advice, if you're taking elephants to invade Rome, which all of y'all are doing, because my viewers are normal people, haha, <laughs> uh, don't cross the Alps. Um, then basically, Hannibal was imprisoned, Battle of Zama something something, I didn't pay attention, also I wasn't there because I was sick, and I'm sure I could have done online, but like, okay, honestly, who pays attention online? And I, didn't, and I don't like our new history teacher, because when I ask him questions, he like just straight up ignores me, because I'm asking him, like, like I'm trying to get into debates with him, matrix theory is not stupid. I mean like, I gave you 20... Three, yeah, we did a birthday celebration for you. And you think you know everything. But dude, you don't. You can't say the Matrix Theory is stupid because the Matrix Theory is not stupid. But also, also, the French Revolution was basically a communist revolution. Just because communism didn't exist. Okay, 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 okay. So, you were like, oh yeah, Holland practiced capitalism. I was like, hey, Adam Smith hadn't written it down yet. Well, just because something wasn't written down doesn't mean it didn't exist. Communism didn't exist until like 1850 when Karl Marx wrote it down. It makes no sense. I'm sorry. I'm mad. I hate you. <laughs> okay, okay. Basically, then Hannibal. Hannibal got, um. Uh, he got trapped and he had too big of an ego to surrender to the Romans, so he committed suicide. Which is what you do, I think. Um, I didn't even mention Sagutum. I am an idiot. Okay, so basically it happened because Sagutum was attacked, which was a city in Spain. Um, I think. I'm not gonna check that. I'm not. I'm not gonna check that. This is mostly just from memory. I had something for the first Punic War because that's the one I know least about. Uh, yes, Gaul, something, something, Gaul, something. That was a that was a reference, kind of. I think I don't know. Um, have any of y'all watched The Good Place? It's amazing. <sighs> Community sweater, though. Community sweater. For every other show. Have y'all watched Hasbro Hotel? It's amazing. I released a new episode today. At least today as I'm recording this. I didn't even say happy 420. Like, it was like 10 days ago. Um, happy late 420. Uh, I was supposed to be somewhere in Punic Wars. Okay, so we're going to move on to Punic War 3, which happened because... Um, Rome put, like, a treaty or something on Carthage, and, uh, if they, they, they weren't allowed to fight or anything, um, and then Rome had one of their, um, allies, um, attack them. Carthage was not very happy, and Carthage was destroyed. There you go. Saved you your history. <sighs> now I'm gonna go listen to... New Girl in Red songs for the fifth time. Because I'm so depressed. Ha ha, fun. I'm just regretting my life decisions. You know, we, we should do something else for ancient Rome. Uh, Kaiser. Julius Kaiser. Let me just think about him for a little bit. Right, and you know what? We're gonna do we're, we're, the, the, the according to William Shakespeare play because Shakespeare is amazing, um, and I'm right. Uh, so basically, there are these two people called Fabius and Morellus, and they're just wandering the streets. Um, then Caesar comes in. You know what? This was a bad idea. Uh, Caesar. Caesar. Big important guy. Big important guy. You know, born into a patrician family. That's amazing. Shakespeare's plays are long and complicated. 
Okay, so pretty cool guy, pretty cool guy, right, 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 right. And this was at a time when um, the uh, generals were respected more than the um, commanders of the army because they were the ones who paid the soldiers. So, so Kaiser became a general, and you know he he was um, not the best general, but he was good at fighting. Uh, and then, boy Caesar, boy Kaiser, Julius Kaiser, um, he, uh, he basically started this triumvirate with, um, Crassus and Pompey, Pompey the Great, who got his head cut off. Um, that's basically pretty much all I know of him. Also, he married, uh, Kaiser's daughter. That I do know. He was named Julia. Uh, because girls in ancient Rome did not get their own names. But you know what? That makes it less complicated. Uh, so thank you for the sexism. Am I allowed to say thank you for that? I'm, I'm a girl. I'm, I'm allowed to say thank you for that. I think. Just thanking them for making it simple. Um... And, uh, then, Ka Kaiser, you know, you know, you know, Cle Cleopatra, something, something, Cleopatra, cough, 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 we, we don't really talk about that. Um, and then, he crossed the Rubicon, uh, to become Civil War because he couldn't handle not becoming Consul again. Kind of a big ego, that might. And, uh, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was Kaiser, he was chill, he was cool, Kaiser cool, cool Kaiser, <sighs> and when he crossed the Rubicon, he said, the die is cast, Maybe. I don't know if that was a misquote or not, might have been, might not have been, you know, chill stuff, chill stuff, bro stuff, little bros here, bros, 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 hugs, bro hugs, hugs anyone, bros, friends, bros friends, bro friends, Friend bros? Friends? Bros? Okay, I'll stop saying that. Anyway, anyway, Rubicon Crossing dies, Cass, Roman Civil War, blah blah blah, Citizens not liking Caesar, blah blah blah, Caesar gets mad, blah blah blah, the Rodeites marked, blah blah blah. Um, and then, uh, he gets stabbed by a bunch of Roman senators, which is an assassination plot, and Shakespeare says, he says, a tu berte. Uh, history says, he says, um, he says, high suit technology. I think. Uh, I say, he says, ow, that hurts. Why did you stab me? Thought we were friends. Um, I don't know why you would think we were friends, because they're the Senate. Uh, 